Well, what's in a name in Scotch Plains, New Jersey? A lot when it comes to a public golf course. The club was renamed this week, just in time for a 100th anniversary gala tomorrow night, celebrating its African-American history. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes has the story. At first glance, it looks like your average golf course, but dig a little deeper beyond the green and you'll see it's definitely not. Socials they have here. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, that's what the place looked like. This was the very first African American owned and operated golf club in the United States in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. The clubhouse is an old farmhouse from the 1700s. In 1921, a group of prominent black investors bought the property and started Shady Rest Golf and Country Club, a place that became a hotbed for sports and entertainment during a time when African Americans were not welcome everywhere. Count Basie, Ella Fitzgerald, Cab Calloway, W.E. Du Bois, all these guys came up here and this was the only place they could come. John Shippen, known as the first American-born professional golfer, was the club's pro and greenskeeper until he retired in 1964. That's also when Scotch Plains Township took over the course, made it public, and changed the name to Scotch Hills Country Club. Over the last several years, the Preserve Shady Rest Committee has been working to bring its history to the forefront. This week, the town council officially approved changing the name of the nine-hole club back to Shady Rest. It was an African-American course to begin with, so it's good to keep that history alive. There are a lot of people in town only since 1964, and they only know the course as Scotch Hills, and they thought that history should be preserved and is almost as important as the original history. But after several meetings and discussions, Mayor Josh Lasardo and committee members like Thurman Simmons and Gary Jones say they're grateful to bring back a piece of the past. This is history. I say it got to be handed down to the next generation also. The mayor says pre-COVID, this course was actually underused and losing money, but since the pandemic has experienced a huge resurgence in popularity. Just in time, he says, for even more people to learn about its rich history. In Scotch Plains, New Jersey, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.